boy. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the part two to the Lucille video that I uploaded Monday. I told you guys I was gonna construct my very own version of it, and that was gonna be what we're gonna be doing today, which is Friday. And this is Lucille 2.0. This is my version of the bad one. I like to improve on it, so I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. This is freaking epic. It's got a blade on the front, a big dagger in the front, almost like a spearhead. A bunch of blades on the side. Screws along the sides to protect those same blades that are in the middle. It's really cool. A lot of people maybe wonder why. A lot of people said nails. They put nails through it. But I didn't do nails. I want screws instead because they're a little bit stronger. I'm really excited to get into this and we're going to be messing some stuff up with this new bat. I'm really excited. But anyway, guys, if you should do 10,000 likes, I would greatly appreciate it. Spent the entire night working on this thing and I know you guys love the last video, so I'm really excited to do this one. But anyway, let's get started. All right, guys. So this is a better look at it now that you know someone's on the camera. You can see it a little better. The barbed wire steer, they are still there. Now there's blades in the middle and there's also screws. So basically the screws are for more of like a pinpointed impact. When you hit with a flat surface like a bat, it's more like the whole thing hits surface. But when you hit something like this, it's more of a pinpointed impact onto this. And that's pretty much gonna go through anything I hit it pretty much with it. So pretty exciting. It's also more of a protective layer because if I put the bat down like this, you see the blades never hit whatever the floor is. So that way they kind of protect the blades because I think the blades are not gonna last that long. Hopefully they do, but I'm not sure if they will. And then up here we have our spearhead, which is actually a dagger knife. And that thing is pretty dope. I'm gonna try and use this thing as a spear. That's gonna be really cool. Using it as a slicing device. We're gonna start on using this. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be trying out my Lucille 2.0 on this jug right here. And I'm gonna try and stab it, then knock it over, and then go for a slam on it. I'm gonna be really sad if this breaks because this is like I said, it took me the entire night pretty much to build this. So if something breaks, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. I mean, the blades, I'm expecting this to break off, but the screws and everything else, I'll be sad. So hopefully not. All right, so again, we go for stab, knock it over, and then smash, all right? Stab, knock over, smash, got it. Right. Oh, oh, shit! That was so Dude, clean! It went, wait, it went all the way through. Did it really? Yeah! <laughs> Holy crap! Dude, it went all the way through. Swipe. Do it. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> and then put her down, and then. <laughs> Dude, look at the damage. That this thing is so is... much better than the first one already. You see how the blade sliced into it too? Oh my god, dude, that thing is... <laughs> <laughs> the blades literally sliced into just like how I wanted it to. This None of the blades is, came out either. Destructive. Look at all these points, guys. Right here, right here, right here. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh my god. This is insane. I love Lucille. Don't worry, I'm a huge fan of Lucille original, but I like this one more. This is a lot. Look at the table. Just the impact. I didn't what break I also it, like to tell you guys, I also drilled down to put a half pound of weight in there too, along with the screws and the blade. This is a lot of extra weight on the top too. So this could be pretty crazy. This is the power it has. It just in general is amazing. All right, guys. So now I am I'm fucking giddy. I'm giddy. <laughs> that was so crazy and so fun. I'm going to go for a slice now. This is my favorite part of the dagger, dude. It basically makes like part Lucille, part samurai sword. You have a little bit of samurai sword section to slice some stuff and stab some things. So I'm gonna go for a slice right through the side of this right now. All right, either like this. a home run swing kind of thing. Yeah, home run slice. Three, two, one. Oh! oh! <laughs> Straight through. Dude, it. that thing's gutted. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a slam down smash on it. Ready? Slam down smash. Go for it. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Damn, dude, it's everywhere! <laughs> Mainly on me. Alright guys, so next up, it's on a tripod because Parker's gonna have to hold it up. I'm gonna go for a slice straight down from the top to bottom. This is gonna be a little harder, there's a lot more to go through basically. And I'm not sure if it's gonna make it. I think it might, I'm not sure, but we'll find out right now. I mean, the lightsaber did it, so I think this could definitely do it, but let's see what happens. Let me get the guide down right now, like where I'm gonna hit. Alright, ready? Yep. Three. Two, one. Oh, 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 oh shit! Oh my god, a razor, dude. So this is the most OP shit ever like, on this channel. This thing is ridiculous. All right, guys. So I, this is honestly, this blade on top is a lot more structurally sound than I thought it was. I tried my best to make it as structurally sound as I could, like I said, but I didn't know it was gonna be that good. I thought it would break really fast. But now, since I know it's got a lot of strength on, I'm gonna try and slice through the melon, come back down for a slam on it. All right. All right, here it goes. Oh shoot. <laughs> Oh, holy <laughs> crap! Holy <Dude. laughs> The original couldn't even bust split it like that. The original was able to dent it in, but that fucking split it in half. It exploded. 
Holy crap! The hardest part is cleaning it up. The brain, <laughs> the brain stuck in it. And honestly, these razor blades are so much stronger than I thought they were gonna be. I thought these were gonna break off. I told Parker before we even started, I think the razor blades are gonna break off like first hit. Yeah, I did yeah, not. You did. And I didn't expect this to survive. None of them even moved. They haven't even shifted. Yeah, seriously. All right, guys. Now we're gonna go for a spear throw. It has, it has a spear tip on the front. So I'm gonna see if I can spear throw into this jug right now. So this is gonna be a real test of its structural integrity and my accuracy because this is really top heavy. It's gonna be hard to throw, um, but I'm gonna go for it my best and see if we can get a good hit straight into the side of this thing spearhead style. I really think so. It's a test structural integrity. I feel like something's gonna break off during this throw, but we'll try it. Alright, ready? Yeah, do you think you can do it the first try? First try? Do you can? Think again. Alright, three, two, one, go! Oh! I hit it oh my up. god! That's still first shot, dude! Oh, there you go! There you go! Oh shit, that thing is bleeding! Oh, that's a good way to pick it up! Three, two, one, go! Oh! Did you see that? I did, dude. It went straight through and then tore to the other side upward. What? That's insane, man. That destroyed it. And it's still strong as shit. Really? Like there's no wiggle or anything? That's just, that's just <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, that was sweet. All right, guys. Now I'm going to tend to throw it into this. This is a target for arrows and throwing knives and all kinds of stuff. I want to see because nothing will stick because as soon as it gets in there, the blade, the weight, just splits it through whatever it is, which is awesome. But I want to see if I get to stick into this. All right, guys. Spearhead throw straight to the bulls out. Here we go. Ready? Yep. The weight of the bat kept it on the table. <laughs> so if you take it out, it'll fall right now. Holy God! If I pull this out, it'll fall. <laughs> oh my God! Nice. Literally, the weight of the bat was almost supporting it there. I'm gonna go for a spear underhand throw. So here it goes. Oh my God! Oh my God! The blade officially broke, guys. Oh man. <laughs> Why did the gun die young? <laughs> <laughs> this went into the wood. I can't even pull out my fingers. Yeah, really? Yeah, oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was it got in there like that, and because it couldn't break through it like anything else, the weight of the bat broke it. Yeah. That sucks. But if it's still, if you got steel, like a steel one of these, it wouldn't break. I wish I could throw this. Yes what, or no, what? guys? Do you guys think? I, I've said that I can throw anything, I think. I think I can throw any type of knife, pocket knife. Pitch a knife, any type of knife. This is a ridiculous. This is not even. This is, this is the tip of a knife. <laughs> no. Hit and hit what? Like just anything. Just, just, just stick. Just at least stick it. Stick it? Okay. Just stick. Okay. Yes or no in the comment section, guys. Can I get this to stick? The true ADHD fans will believe in me. Yes or no in the comment section right now. Uh, what do you think? Nah, dude. Just, come on. It's a <laughs> tip of a knife. It's a broken knife. I have to go a little closer because this is not a lot of weight on it, so it's gonna be hard to stick. Oh, <laughs> shit. oh my god! <laughs> That's tip <different>. first. <laughs> Oh my god. I told you. I never this guy. Oh my god. All right, guys. So right here, this is kind of like the finale, I guess you could say. This thing is wrapped up in steel wool. I'm going to try and light it on fire, too, after this. But I wanted to try this first. A lot of you guys in the comment section were saying to use steel wool because of the last video. And that was a hell of a lot of fun. So this would be really cool. This is basically like a sparking bat. It doesn't look like something like off a of dead rise. You like something like Frank West would Yeah, make. like something you, <laughs> you just build at a workshop yeah. or those work tables or something. Yeah. This is so dope. So we're going to be trying that and then be hitting Jeff with it. Jeff the man is going to be hit with a sparking bat, hopefully, and a flaming bat. We're going to see how Jeff holds up. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make Jeff an Instagram. So if you guys want to follow Jeff on Instagram, I talked to him about it and he agreed. If you guys want to follow Jeff on Instagram, his Instagram will be at the top of the description. You guys go check out Jeff's IG. Um, he posts a lot of selfies, but he's whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, going to try and light this up now. And Oh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> Holy my cow, god, dude. dude. That's freaking dope. Oh my god! Oh, dude, it lights up so much. <laughs> Holy shit! This oh my thing god! Is dope. Going for a sparking hit on Jeff. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Look at his face in the bottom. Oh. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff! Oh my god! It's overwhelming his face. <laughs> He's just freaking dead. He's just dead. <laughs> it launched it. It launched it. 
through the table, <laughs> and then the fire just succumbed over his body. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, so next we're gonna be trying to do just a plain old flame bath. That wasn't a lot of flame on that one. That was more just sparks and a little bit of flame. Now we're gonna be going for full blown flame. Oh, oh shoot, dude. There it goes. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Legend of Zelda, so this reminds me of the torch. <laughs> Dude, that looks so sick. dope. Can you imagine? Look at the blades on it, the screws, everything heated, hitting something. Holy crap. All right, see if Jeff can survive this hit a little bit better than last time. Right, ready? This is going to be interesting. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> you see the screws like completely Goku, hit? <laughs> He's stuck on the screws. Always coming to the flames. We told him not to talk shit. All right, guys. So next up, I saw a ridiculous amount of you guys asking me to do Stretch Armstrong versus the or Lucille 2.0. So got a fresh Stretch Armstrong here, as you can see. Just got him. And we're going to be trying to see what the uh, Lucille 2.0 does to Mr. Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Three, two, one. It bent the fucking damn screw. No, it didn't. Doesn't fucking die. He, he bent that screw right there, right? He bent the screw right there. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, he only becomes manlier. There's nothing to defeat him. I just hit him with the flaming back covered with screws, barbed wire, and razor blades. And he took it like and it was- fire. And fire. And fucking <laughs> and fire. And fire. And he just took it like there was nothing. I even covered him in flat hydro fluid. He's just like, oh, tanning oil. Like, <laughs> look at guys, you can see me spray the lighter fluid on this man. See if this helps him. <laughs> Get all oiled up. Two. Oh! You see it in the oh stomach. Oh my god! You see it in the stomach. He's six pack. <laughs> he still pack wouldn't catch a no. plane, though. He still won't catch a fucking plane. <laughs> Fuck this dude. <laughs> Fuck this dude. I hate Stretch Armstrong. Oh, wait. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh, oh my God! Yes! 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 Look at him! Look at his device! Stretch! <laughs> oh, see these are those tanning beds. <laughs> you call it fire, I call it a day spa. <laughs> Guys, he's putting out the flame with just flex. <laughs> he's just he's flexing. flexing the. He flexed <laughs> the flame away. He flexed the fucking flame away. <laughs> this man is incredible. And he just goes back to his shape. And he's only 19.99. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you guys want a toy that'll last you generations, <laughs> centuries, he was on fire. He was on fire.